among all kinds of pain that a human goes through, childbirth is generally considered to be the most severe. Yes, the pain that a female goes through is unbearable. So we have all given our mothers that intense pain while coming into this world. But have you ever wondered about how you got this life? What were the series of steps that made you grow into this structure from being a single cell? Let's have a look at this most important process that helped us gain life. Yes, I am referring to the process of fertilization. How do we define it in simplest words? Fertilization is the process in which a male gamete fuses with a female gamete, giving rise to a zygote. So how will this process begin? When one sperm among all the others is able to penetrate the egg cell, then the egg releases certain chemicals. These chemicals make sure that no other sperm will now penetrate this egg. The first step begins now when the male nucleus from the sperm fuses with the female nucleus that is already sitting right there in the big fat egg cell. The fusion stimulates a cascade of reactions which will further give rise to several successive cell divisions. The consecutive cell divisions then give rise to an embryo that will further develop into an organism. So is this process of fertilization the same in all the organisms? Think for a moment. In order to answer this question, we have to keep in mind two major facts. Firstly, the process of fertilization is simply the fusion of gametes. Secondly, the place where the fusion of gametes can take place may be different in various organisms. So now, can we answer the question correctly? Yes. The simplest answer is that the process of fertilization will almost be the same. This is because it involves the fusion of gametes. However, the location where the fertilization occurs may be different in animals. For example, in humans, the baby grows inside the mother's body. However, have you seen babies of frogs? They are not born from inside the body of the female frogs like in our case. This gets us to the concepts of types of fertilization. The first example explains that fertilization occurs inside the female's body. Hence, such a type is referred to as internal fertilization. In this case, the sperms from a male's body enters the female's reproductive tract and reach the fallopian tubes where the egg cell awaits. The fusion of both completes the fertilization process inside her body. All higher animals like mammals exhibit this type of fertilization. Now, can you guess the next type? Yes, it will be the external fertilization. As the name suggests, the process will involve fusion of gametes outside the female's body. Frogs are examples belonging to this category. In this case, the unfertilized eggs are released in the water. Now the sperms from the male body will be released on these eggs and will fertilize them. As a result, the fertilization process will be accomplished in the water outside the female's body. Many aquatic animals, including fish, exhibit this type of fertilization. This is how fertilization takes place in animals. Now the most important thing we need to know is how the embryo develops. Do watch our next video to know this important process.